and mandatory to fight Lerun Richards for the title. So we're just waiting to see if he's going to vacate or he's going to fight. So I couldn't really care less if he fights. So it's another for like. As long as I'm fighting for them titles, it doesn't really make a difference to me. Um, whoever it is, we'll just the same job will be getting done to him as what it would to the next man. 5th of December in London. He's probably been the most active boxer in the lockdown. This will be his fourth fight of the year. Um, you know, he's been making short work of everybody, so he's fresh. He's been in today sparring, had a good sparring session. I think it's four weeks on Saturday, so a couple more weeks of sparring, just fine tuning it. You know, he's in a fantastic place. So now it's time to step up the gears, isn't it, and start showing people what the, what the hurricane's all about. I'm a Willie Hutchinson fan. Uh, really good. Crackers as well. Good fun. But I want to give him an eye then soon. When I when I first came as a kid with Kel Brook Junior Way was just then finishing his career but but now the gym is full of full of top class talent, it's amazing to see. I'm working with wee Danny Morrow. The wee guy. <laughs> He's gonna go and get the win. Bring it back to the Ingle gym. And I'll get him on my shoulders once he's done it and we'll say, he's the man. He's the man! <laughs> I'm really lucky to start I've got a fight in, in uh, on the 11th of November with MTK Global, so I've been training hard. I've had a solid week down at Ingalls and they've put me through it and uh, I'm feeling good. Some people are thinking that they won't fight till middle of next year, so to say that it's my debut, I, you know, I feel very lucky, so I just need to prove myself now. Because for a long time I've been I've been known as Dave's Dave's little mate, so it, it's funny but I wanna I wanna prove myself now, I wanna crack on, you know, I wanna make a living out of this. It's been my dream since so young, so I'm ready to, ready to do it properly now. I look up to Barry a lot, he's, he's who I go and watch if I want to learn anything. I, I watch him, but now to say that I've just sparred him and and I you know I learned so much from that. I think I did like what three minutes in total, but it was the hardest three minutes of my life and I've probably learned so much from that, so you know I'm really thankful for it. I, I took him on about three years ago and I was training him and uh, mentored him in boxing and in life and um, it came to a point where I said, Danny, uh, if you want to do this, you can't be David Allen's friend anymore. And we can't be doing it as we're doing it in our party. You know, you, this is about you, this is your career. Right? You're a man, you need to do it yourself. So I said, the best place to go is the Ingle Gym. This is interesting. I will ask Danny to be fair, and if you can, you have to train there, mate. Me, me and him are very close, like right, brothers, but I said, look, because I cared about you, it's time to move on and go to the next level, and that's what he's doing here. I'm always on it, you know, just waiting for the big one, you know, hopefully the IBF world title. Josh Warrington rematch, you know, so we're, we're in line, we're mandatory shot. So uh, that's what we've got our eyes on. We're training every day through lockdown, grinding, you know. When I first came, Barry was just an amateur starting out and, and so was I. So what Brendan used to say to me, this man here will be world champion on about Barry. All the time I was here as a kid, I used to look at Barry and I used to go, oh, Barry's going to be world champion. And obviously he's gone on and... I thought it'd be easy for him to be the world champion now, but uh, yeah, Barry for me, obviously, every time I come in today, I look to him and I thought, oh, right. <laughs> when we start a body spot, I said, oh, I said, it's not 2008, I said, stop bullying me. <laughs> Dave was here from being a kid, about 13, 14. He was well aware of Barry, and Barry's always ribbing him, and you can see today, Barry, he was breaking his neck to get in that ring to get on Dave, because he hadn't sparred with Dave for a while. <laughs> well, cast operator. I was pulling eight rounds out of him. And uh, it was good, I think he's fighting in December. So um, it's good, you know, sparring kids like that is, uh, is a must. I believe he'll be a world champion, you know, probably the next 14 months. So, uh, you know, you need sometimes that level of sparring. We haven't had much sparring in the past six months with top fighters, um, so it's good to get some in um, Barry. Good competitive sparring where I learn as well from a, good, a top fighter. Obviously with the lockdown now, the elite can still try and wouldn't be able to sit at home and not do anything. Um, but yeah, so now just push on now, uh, hopefully fight in December and then move on. I'm always in the gym, I don't believe in, you know, I need a warm up fight or a tick over job, you know. I need to just fight for the world title and that's it, you know, when I get in there, 
I keep on top of my game and you know all that craft and whatever people say oh yeah you know you get a ring rust and all that stuff I don't believe in it I think people who believe in that are just it's in the head it's been hard last session today I didn't think I'd be sparring but I've just done a bit of body sparring with Willie, Barry, did a bit of roping and uh, done can't believe I've got nothing to do now no I'm gonna feel like I've got loads of energy but I'm going to put it all into Wednesday on my fight, so I can't wait.